This is Troy J. Robertson reporting live. Psych, not really live. I am so excited to announce that I'm going to be recapping for FabFitFun this entire season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And I could not be more excited for this. This season is wild. Anyone that follows any of the housewives and all of these Instagram pages kind of knows a little bit of the tea moving forward. Um, we've got some new housewives. We've got Denise Richard joining the club. Some of the housewives, some housewives not choosing to film with some people. And then of course, you know, there was the traumatic and devastating California fires that happened last fall that did affect um, some of the filming of Beverly Hills as well as some of the housewives on the show. So the past 24 hours I have spent watching season eight's reunion, part one, two, and three, just like over and over and over again. We all know how the reunions end. It's usually one of those things where, let's go ahead and rebuild with one another. We're gonna be a little bit precocious moving forward. And then the countdown's going on in the bottom right of the screen provided by Bravo, and it's literally like in nine, eight, seven, six. Andy gets the champagne out. He gives a beer stein to Dorit, shade from previous season, she got you know, serve champagne, not a champagne glass. That's old drama though, we all know what happened there. And then all of a sudden, boom, Lisa Vanderpump's mansion appears. Lisa Vanderpump kicks Kyle Richards out of her house. Kyle says to LVP, maybe you care more about your image than your friendships. As Kyle starts walking out, then you just see like the glass French doors of Lisa Vanderpump's house start to close. And you're kind of left wondering, you're kind of like, whoa, what's going on? Then, the signature Bravo, two months earlier, dot, dot, dot. Let me just tell you, any Bravo show that starts an episode that way or starts a season that way, it's already off to a good start for me. So then we move into talking to Lisa and Ken and she does start to talk about how um, she lost her brother and how difficult that was for her. And she had took a, a month to really like be emotional about it. And then she took another month and she kind of just like compartmentalized it. I just have to say like, it takes a lot of courage to talk about those like really tough topics on television, on camera. They've got all this makeup on, they're in front of all these lights. And I think that she did a really powerful job of discussing something that is so taboo. So kudos to you, LVP. And again, like our hearts go out to you and you're terribly, terribly sad loss. Then we get to see Kyle. If I thought that that haircut on Instagram looked good. It looks even better on filming because I loved Kyle Richards' long, luscious hair forever. And she slowly and gradually started to cut it. And this season, I think it's the perfect length. Absolutely stunning. Kudos to you and your stylist. Then she starts talking about how she has general anxiety disorder. And let me tell you, I can relate because she said this and this is so true when she just put it out there and she was like, listen, a general anxiety disorder and I think everything's worse than it actually is. She starts talking to Teddy about how her house was just completely ransacked and then it cuts back to the reunion when she talked about it from the end of season eight and the kinds of things that were taken from Kyle's house during the burglary was like, bags and jewelries and one of a kind pieces and irreplaceable items and things that are like literally invaluable that have been passed down to her. We also found out recently that her house was just broken into again. So I, leave this girl alone. Like leave her and her family alone. Then we get to Erica Dorit hanging out and having like a little brunch and some drinks. And let me just tell you, it is so refreshing to see how far their friendship has come after all the issues that they had two seasons ago. They started to bond last year in season eight and I just like their back and forth. Their banter is refreshing. Comment down below, let me know, like do you like this friendship? Because I really feel like they've got a lot of similarities and this is like a really good, filming friendship and I hope it's a really good off-camera friendship because I like watching that. I like to see their interactions with one another. Like it really, it brings me joy. Then we get to Lisa Vanderpump's center for dogs, abandoned dogs. Lisa's partner at the center comes out with the dog and he asks Kyle, he says, do you recognize this dog? And Kyle goes, no, not really. Everyone's kind of like looking at Kyle a little odd, like a little like inquisitive, like a little, they're not sure what to think about it. Like you don't recognize this dog. And Kyle says, she's like, why is everyone looking at me like I'm a weirdo? Come to find out, Dorit had got a dog from 
Vanderpump's dogs. Later on, the dog ended up in a shelter. And so the shelter called Pump's dogs and was like, hey, we got your dog because they have a tracking device in this. And so Lisa was not trying to talk about it. You could definitely tell that she was not trying to talk about it on air, but there was certain dialogue that was keeping being persisted about it, but Lisa didn't want to talk about it. She wanted hands off of it. And that's going to be a little bit of a theme throughout this season is that story. It was just an uncomfortable scene. I was genuinely uncomfortable. So as the scene starts to move on, they start to move in a different part of the center. And then Lisa brings up Kyle not attending a party of hers or something like that. And long story long, Kyle wasn't having it. And she goes, I'm done. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this with you. And she storms out of the room that they were walking in. So then Lisa starts to go after Kyle and then Teddy's trying to console and like kind of like diffuse the situation. What the theme of Lisa and Kyle's friendship sometimes is, is where Kyle feels as though Lisa holds Kyle to a different standard than everybody else. But at this moment in time, Lisa is dealing with some things in her personal life that I think are her kind of wanting a little bit maybe more attention. Teddy kind of consoles them. They both hug, they cry it out a little bit. I love their friendship. And I'm sad to see that in the preview that it's going to be tested this season again, because we've already seen a season where they've had their friendship tested. The scene ended in all was well and good in the world. Finally, we're introduced to the Denise Richards. So Denise Richards' first scene is with Lisa Renna. Lisa Renna is everything. And so Lisa's kind of explaining like how they've known each other for 20 plus years in the show business. They're just like talking and Erica Jane's like, I think Denise is going to fit in great with the group because she's a seasoned old bitch like me. <laughs> I want everyone to comment down below. Talk about like their first thoughts with seeing the newest housewife, Denise Richards. This is also a very early entrance of a new um, housewife. Usually when there's a new housewife, they don't get introduced on the first episode and they're usually not in the promo right away either. It's usually the just the housewives that return and do their taglines and then hold their diamond. And then episode two or episode three, the new housewife is introduced. So let us know what you think about Denise being introduced this early. Then we get to a dinner with PK and Dorit, Ken and Lisa Vanderpump. Dorit compliments PK's hands and She's like, oh, I just love it when you shave your hands. Lisa's like, you shave your hands? He goes, yeah, my hands and my arms. <laughs> she goes, what could you do that for? And there we go. There we have it, people. That's what starts it all. Dorit felt like she was giving it to a woman in a good home because she could not have the dog anymore because the dog had allegedly bit one of her children and then also scratched PK's nose, which they did show extra proof of that. He did have a very big, big like two line scratch on his nose. And so she thought she was giving it to a woman that it was gonna be at a good home with. But then that person also did not want the dog. The dog is so cute, but want the dog. And so they just put it in a shelter. Lisa's main point was like, listen, I'm not mad. I just wish you would have brought it back to Vanderpump Dogs for me to take care of it. Can you see both sides as well? Like, do you think Dorit's in the, in the right? Do you think it's a miscommunication? Do you think she did the right thing? Or do you think that Lisa maybe has the right to be a little bit perturbed about this, if you will? Kyle's getting set up for this pool party that she invited everyone to. And let me just tell you, Kyle can throw a house party. I look forward to her annual white party every single year and I don't even go to it. I love it when everyone gets together for day looks and they come in in their like blousey dresses and their high-low fashions. Everyone's talking, everyone's hanging out. Dorit walks in, runs into Teddy. A little bit of tension still from the ending of last season. It was a little, little icy, I will have to say. I think that everyone could kind of see that with their own two eyes, but then their kids hit it off. They start hanging out by the pool. Dorit's then talking to someone at the pool party. I believe she's talking to Kyle and she's talking about how she unfollowed Teddy on Instagram. And what does everyone think about this? Because this is a common thing among the housewives. Now this is like a really big thing and people are like really gagging about it on social media. Like they'll go and find and see if housewives follow each other or not. And this is a common trend. Like what does everyone think? The party's starting to end. People are starting to go out. Teddy's talking about how she loved Boone's Farm back in the day. And let me tell you something, I love Boone's Farm too. It tastes like college two buck chuck. 
Just because your last name is Mellencamp doesn't mean you can't know what Boone's farm is. Um, then Erica's rounding up, she's trying to leave, and then all of a sudden, Teddy's son Cruz is starting to pee in the pool, like trunks down. We all pull our pants up the same way because you can be in Beverly Hills and your kid is still gonna act like a complete child and just pee in a pool. The episode ended and it did the usual preview of the entire season to come and this season, I'm saying it is hands down the most anticipated season of Housewife franchise history. There, I said it, I don't care. I have been looking forward to this season for months and I can't wait to be watching it every single week and recapping it and serving it all to you as fresh as possible. Please make sure again to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you every single Wednesday where we are going to talk about all things Bravo and all things Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season nine. Stay tuned, stay updated, buckle up, and let's get into it.